Games and justice sounds like an oxymoron, right? Um, what I can say is that as Zimba Games, we plan on our objective is to get to two, th two million households and help them understand how to prevent their justice problems. And what I'd like to do in a few minutes now is just immerse you in what games are like in Uganda. Here are women playing a game, one you may have played before. Those are men playing a game, and uh, they do that quite often. Yes, they actually get trophies for the same, right? And this is pure and respectfully, I must say, for moving a piece and throwing a die. Now, this is what we have done for health in the area of uh, reproductive health. That's what Zimba Games has done. Now, you may ask, what about justice, right? Now, sorry, sorry. Uh, now, this was my introduction to justice. This literally happened to me, to us and our family. We literally got chased off by people who we thought we were helping on our very own land. And what I came to discover was that actually, nine in 10 Ugandans actually face a justice problem, right? But 21% actually have a justice problem related to land. And subsequently, 36% actually do not know where to find this information. But here was a light bulb for us we actually found that three in four people will seek advice in a family. So Zimba Games said, how can we create games, right, for both families and organizations so that we're able to help people understand how to prevent their justice needs? So we came up with a game, Targeting Land, and we made about three of them, playing cards, slides and ladders, and that, and that, all to foster discussion. That's how much money we've been able to make so far, the impact we've been able to gather in terms of we've reached about 263 people and uh, we have been able to get 65% of them say that our games are very educative and 40% say they're very entertaining. In terms of impact, we're looking at getting to going as far as Africa, but we're definitely going to focus on Uganda for now and reach the 2 million people. Um, what are we asking for? We're asking for partners in terms of game development, skills, skills and technology sharing, and to open doors for us. This is the wonderful team I work with. These guys literally make these games in our office in Kampala. We don't import these things from China, right? <laughs> right? So, in case you are in doubt, I for one am an example of someone who has used games and actually learned, I didn't know finance and accounting. I mean, I knew it, yes, I graduated, but I was challenged by it. And in my work career, I had the time to actually appreciate the same. And I'll tell you, I had the most user-friendly experience and most empowering experience I had ever. And I've also had the opportunity to see children play my our games and adults as well, and I've seen the sparkle in their eyes. And I invite you to join us on this journey to build great games in the legal space. Thank you. Can I look to the jury? Are there questions? Haro, please. Yeah, I find the idea challenging, but attractive as well. In the Netherlands, we have a large gaming industry. Mm. I, I'm a bit familiar with that. Um, and of course, the thought which comes across with me is how you can enlarge the impact on awareness um, uh, in, let's say, deepening the level of the game. Mm. So, for example, can you do it online and is there some education which comes with the game as well? So, I, I like the idea as a platform and you can build on the platform. That's basically what, what I take away from this. Yes, um, most definitely. Um, right now we chose to go using card and board games because the bigger part of the population is offline. But definitely to scale up, we're looking at going online. And even as we do, we look to, to reduce the value of, of, the, of the, the cost, the cost of the goods, all the way from about $9 uh, to about $1 to $3 or $4 per item. 
Is there any built-in way to measure how whether people feel that their problem in relation to their land is solved, as opposed to just information? Come again. How do people measure whether, how do you measure whether people feel that the problem in relation to their land is solved as opposed to just giving information? Okay, uh, actually our games are bent to actually drive a lot more prevention. So they give you information. So as children, when you begin to have a discussion with them at home and they're telling you, but daddy, why haven't you done this? This is what the game said. Eh? This is what we learned from the game. So just in the very same way you play Monopoly or or let's say cash flow, I learned a lot from that. You're able to be able to pick up a lesson or two that keeps you away from making a mistake. Yeah. Can we give another big round of applause for Christian from Zimba Games? Good job, man. I'm proud of you.